Greetings everybody and uh, welcome to uh, my long-awaited, much anticipated Inner Sanctum uh, comic book room video. This originally started out as a uh, uh, video response to uh, Running With Comics 500 uh, sub contest and uh, I just didn't have enough time to do everything in one video. So this is the uh, the third part actually of uh, of that uh, uh, series of videos that I started doing uh, based on his contest but anyway uh, well here goes it's not shut that light down it's uh, still kind of a mess you notice I got a Boris Karloff poster up here Strange Door it's a movie he did back in uh, oh god 1952 I think or 1951 perhaps wait a minute I can look at it right there 1951 so uh, I don't know what side to start on I guess I'll start on this side over here I'm going to turn around and close the door here these are the movie posters that you see this is a Phantom of the Jungle. This is an original poster from uh, 1955. Uh, I actually have a couple of these. And then I got the original lobby cards. Well, this is the original uh, uh, window poster from 1956. And then these are all the different lobby cards. There's another. Uh, talking fish that's been disabled there's the other lobby cards I got and anyway over here I found some pictures that I've been looking for for a long time and I still haven't found everything but uh, this, this is a uh, Burt Reynolds uh, I was at the 96 uh, Las Vegas sh cigar show and uh, I met him over there in uh, actually went to a bar and had some beers with him and because uh, we were talking about the beer business he likes to drink this Weiss beer and we were, import we were importers at the time of a uh, Weiss beer he never heard of and so I got to go over there and have some a beer with him over there at the, <laughs> at the bar and I had some personal photographs taken too and I can't find those but at the same show there was also this guy there uh, this is a uh, Bernard Fox, he he played uh, Dr. Bombay on uh, Bewitched, and he was, I think, yeah, Colonel Archibald on the, the movie The Titanic. He signed that for me there. And there's uh, Antonio Banderas and Angelina Jolie in the movie they did together, Sin. And uh, The Mummy's Tomb. This is something that uh, was a, a whole uh, plaque that was kind of put together and signed uh, was signed by Tuscan Bay, who starred in the movie Lon Chaney, The Mummy's Tomb. And then John Aston over here from the Adams Family. Got his signature right there. A bunch of the, these are cabinets I got they're blocked off. I can't even get to those cabinets right there. This is the only one that I can actually open. It's got the different excuse me, Batmobiles in there. Uh, boxes I have to go through as I walk towards the uh, front of uh, this room over there where I always sit at the computer doing my videos. And uh, what's in here? I think I showed these before. Yeah, I did show these before. There's a couple copies of the first Silver Age uh, Two Face. Hmm. What the hell is back there? Oh, now I'm curious. Hey, now I'm getting curious here. That's a Strange Adventures first appearance of Animal Man. Oh, there's another stack of books. I see again. Indiana Jones. 
think this is from the Temple of Doom. Well, I don't know. At any rate, oh, look at this. I remember this here. That's a toilet paper holder, <laughs> believe it or not. Oh, there's stuff back there you can't even see. I'm not even going to go through those comics. I don't know what... It's probably all modern stuff. Oh, there's some... What is this? Some twisted tails. Oops. What the hell else is in here? Looks like there, yeah, there are some older stuff in here. Oh. Some Justice League. How did these get in here? Uh. Hmm. Mixed in with Twisted Tails. Well, I'm not going to start going. Right, this is about the room. I don't want to start going into all this little crap, man. Look at all these boxes down here that I've been trying to organize but have not had too much success. Well, I've had some success, but uh, I'm running out of room. Up there. I've been trying to organize and I got some EC boxes up there, horror comic boxes, uh, Golden Age boxes right up there, and Silver Age too, that I did get organized. And uh, on the shelves back here there's all sorts of, uh, all sorts of stuff, man, wow. Um, let me see if I can't get some more light over here. Yeah, that, that's better. You can't even look back there. I mean, I got so much stuff in the way. There's a. Uh, I think these are. Uh, Holy crap! All right, let's do. This. Oh, this is, uh, these are all the Jungle comics. This is Jungle Action number one. It's the original from the 1950s Atlas before they became Marvel. I was going to do a video on all of these. I got a bunch of Jungle comics right there. I forgot all about that. I put them together to do a video and then I forgot. <laughs> uh, oh, here's some uh, posters I had signed by John Byrne. Back in the day, around 1983. Right up, oh, here's a. I showed this before. Original art page. John Byrne art page from Fantastic Four number uh, 214. Human Torch in the Scroll. I got stuff everywhere, man. Um, I had an amazing Fantasy 15 laying around here. It's probably in that, probably right in there. Okay, uh, looky here. This is what uh, Art Dowdy 95 sent me one time, just out of the clear blue. I got them on display there. The uh, Pop Vinyl figures. Shelf with all sorts of stuff back here. I wish I had. I could show you, you know, I got some really nice statues back there and uh, rocket ships uh, that I bought through the previous magazine years ago. I can't even get back there though. So, uh, more boxes that I've been trying to organize comic books. These are all VHS tapes, original uh, VHS. Uh, mostly horror VHS tapes. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to sell those, get them up on eBay and sell those. 
It'll give me some nice room there. First appearance of the black cat. Oh, no, that's not the first. Uh, it's first appearance of uh, what's his name? The spot. Got my put myself on the spot there. Uh, let's see here. What? Oh, I gotta go through all sorts of stuff. What the hell is this? Mm. My chamomile tea. Mm-hmm. And my earth salt. Okay. Oh, there's a... That's a whole stack of Atlas comics in there. I gotta... Do a video on these. But anyway... I'm not gonna get into that right now. Oh, these are some recent pickups I got for a buck, with the exception of this. I paid, what did I pay for these? I think five dollars, the first appearance of uh, the Rose and the Thorn. Silver Age, Rose and Thorn. But they actually first appeared in the Golden Age. Believe it or not, yep, that's true. Uh, uh that's my desk. And what Oh, scoop. Pop culture site. Uh, wait a minute. I, hold on for a minute. Man, what, I wasn't looking at this before, was I? I thought I was looking at cigars. There. Yeah. That's what I was looking at. How does it... Anyway, uh, there's some more stuff. Original clocks that I had to wake me up when I was a little kid. Except the green one, that's new. The uh, yellowish one was uh, one I remember having in, in the early 60s. There's some more stuff I'm trying to get up uh, on eBay. Some older comics. Uh, Books and trades and all sorts of stuff here. I really got a lot of things to sort out. Uh, oh, just bear with me. Yeah, let's see. Oh, there's that box I still have to go through. There's a whole box of uh, another video I was going to do on uh, black superheroes. Uh, I got a little radiator in case my knees get cold. There's a uh, original Buddy Holly, the uh, Buddy Holly and the Crickets record. With Buddy Holly with the glasses. And the guitar in the middle of those three. The original 45. Uh, here's my flying monkeys here. I'm not gonna mess with them, but uh, oh, and uh, this is where I keep all my. some statues ahead. This is where I keep all my uh, most of my supplies. Backer boards. Let's see if I can uh, open that up. Get a better view in this way. There's all my mylar and some more backer boards. They go all the way back to the wall. I think there's a f several hundred in there. I try to keep several several hundred of uh, uh, backer boards and bags all you know at the, at 
at one time so I never run out. Every time I get to like 500 I order another 500 or so. There's more backer boards, more backer foldbacks over there. Real thick, the thick ones for me, Gerber, acid free. Even that room is a little bit of a mess. There's more packages of backer boards right there. There's a lot of, there's more mylar at the bottom shelf there. I don't know, you probably can't see that though. And uh, some larger supplies of mylar and regular propylene bags up there for like newspapers and old uh, treasure maps. Um, I don't know if you can see this. I got two. Uh, Right in back of this, this is part of the cont my contest, I'm giving that stuff to some lucky winner. There's two uh, cabinets full of CDs that go down to the floor, but I uh, can't move this right now. But, uh, oh, there's the famous Stan Lee quote. Um, how did he create Spider-Man? He says at a convention, well I saw this fly on a wall. And then a few years later when he was cornered, he, they asked him about that. They, what, what did that mean, a fly on the wall? Because they were starting to think it had something to do with Archie Comics fly, and it did. And he says, did I say that? Yeah, right, Stan. <laughs> oh, here's a box of uh, some of my uh, LPs I pulled out were running with comics. That was a part of this contest, you know, to show some of you what you collect in, in vinyl or music and in, in the form of DVDs or whatever form you collect it in. Here's some uh, original Donovan. I, this is signed by Donovan, as a matter of fact. Donovan's Greatest Hits. There's another uh, Donovan sign. I had that signed to my daughter. Jessica, I never gave it to her. <laughs> then he signed one to me, right there, Donovan DeHans. There's uh, Hermit's Hermits. This is signed by uh, Peter Noon, who is Herman. And you know what? When I saw him on stage, I got right up to the stage, and he and he took this album here and he kissed it. So I got his DNA on that album. <laughs> he kissed it. <laughs> And then later on, after the show, he signed it for me. What else is back there? Uh, there's some Batman. Oh, there's Paul Revere and the Greatest, uh, Paul Revere and the Raiders, The Greatest Hits. Signed by Mark Lindsay. Uh, Batman. This is a great album. I like this. The Spider-Man Rock comic. Pick that thing up if you can get it to tell the story, and the music is actually pretty good. By the way, I got two Huckleberry Hound from 1960, I think. Captain Kangaroo, Peter and the Wolf by uh, was it Stokowski? Uh, I got this because of the cover. I bought this on eBay because I love the cover. I'm trying to find out who did that cover. A House of Terror. And then the rest of these are all uh, like from uh, 007 films. Well, there's The Man from Uncle from TV. Oh, here's a Conan album signed uh, by the artist who did the cover, Tim Conrad. Saw him at the convention, he signed it for me years ago. Goldfinger. Thunderball. Oh, here's the Wild Angels with uh, Peter Fonda and Nancy Sinatra. Round of one, how do you do? Anyway, uh, over here is a cabin where I keep. Oh, crap. Here I keep some supplies. That's been. Uh, he's been debilitated there. 
uh, Billy Bass. Boy, this is turning into a long video. This is a McDonald's um, promotional display from like 93 or 1994. It was pretty rare to find that. It's like uh, really nice condition. It's got all the parts, nothing's broken. Here I got a lot of uh, uh, cartoons, TV serial, uh, TV series, cartoon series. Up. Oh. Let's see. Here I got. Uh, TV series and uh, movie serials. There's Dick Tracy. Lost. Uh, a lot of stuff from the 40s. Zorro and the Fighting Legion. You know, the Phantom Empire, Ramar of the Jungle. And there's uh, this whole series that uh, the uh, Masters of Horror series. This was uh, pretty great. Three Stooges and uh, Howdy Doody. I got that from Scott Custom Dumpster. Twilight Zone. This is what gets me. The Twilight when they before they came out with the box set. Where did I put that damn thing? Now? I have a. I bought the box set too. Um. But man, before they came out with the box set, they had this. You, you, you could only get get it at sequential uh, order by uh, buying one at a time, you know. And they end, you, had to, you had to end up buying, you know, 43, 43 volume DVD set, which is alright. But then they came out with the box set after this. And they did it on purpose because they just wanted to built people out of freaking money one step beyond and tales from the crypt it goes all the way back I can't pull it out oh let's see what's back there original art posters can't pull it all out of there um you know what I'm not even gonna be able to get into this other room yet over here what you see is uh, this shelf has all long boxes of Marvel comics that start with M. Titles that start with M. And I got four to a shelf, so that's four, eight, twelve, 54, 15, 16 long boxes. And I got a, on the bottom shelf, there's another four boxes, but you can't see it. It's covered up with all this stuff. Oh, this is uh, Doctor Strange 169. And that Doctor Strange 169 is what inspired this statue here of Doctor Strange. Came with the, the statue and then this piece here. And then this piece over here. This is uh, original Doctor Strange art. I'll probably have to turn the light on the show to see. This is from Grim Fairy Tales, original art. Just beautiful. More from Doctor Strange. Not Strange Tales, but Doctor Strange. Original art. Uh, let me uh, turn the light on back here. It's pretty tough, I'll tell you. Okay, yeah, that's better. What the hell? I had the lights down low to give it a special effect with this uh, spot, uh, this lighting effects right here, different colors. Anyway, there's the. Uh, all right, this is from uh, uh, Doctor Strange uh, issue number ten. And uh, 
This over here is really nice art. Right? Sorry about the glare. Can't seem to do anything about that. This was con conceptual art that uh, he did and he sold to me. Uh, this is Mike uh, uh, DeBolfo. And, uh, he did this in uh, 2009 for Red Riding Hood. And another friend of mine did these. He's an artist and he did a bunch of these based on Celtic uh, gods and goddesses. Carved it himself. Signed it in the back for me. Got a few more over there. Um, well, here I'll give you a shot from this angle. I'm just about stepping into the main part of this room, but I'll have to do another video on that one. Anyway, gives you an idea of all the stuff I got here. Just a lot of too much stuff. So much stuff to go through. And original art. Uh, who did that for me? Uh, Bill Rhino did that for me. Uh, and he gave it to me as a gift. So Probably because I bought him breakfast. He, he worked on some Wolverine stuff. He did the inks on a lot of Wolverine issues. Well, not a lot of them, but a number of them. Anyway, here's uh, more DVDs. This is all my cartoon stuff right there. Or more of the cartoon stuff. And right there is the uh, anime uh, from Japan. A lot of uh, Hayao Miyazaki is in here. I love, I love his work, Hayao Miyazaki. And... Uh, here, holy crap, I forgot it almost. Everything what you see there, those are all original movie posters that were originally when they uh, had them in the theaters, they were folded and then they unfolded them and then when they were done using them, they folded them again, put them away. And I got some huge ones in there. They're like uh, four by six, possibly even seven feet uh, from Italy, from the 1940s. Uh, and, and not the 1940s, I'm sorry, from the 1950s and early 1960s, uh, Vincent Price films. And I think one of them is signed in there by Vincent Price. Uh, I have to get that out and show that to you. Um, here, another cabinet. This is where I keep all my comic book related DVDs, you know, the movies and uh, different uh, 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 cartoons and uh, animated features that uh, are related to comic books and uh, regular uh, live action films as well that I that I feel have some kind of connection maybe with the the uh, geekiness of collecting comic books. Kill Bill and uh, this was a great film, Ellie. Big Bang Theory, Batman, the greatest American hero down there. So you get an idea of what I'm talking about. Amazing stories. Uh, the animation show. Scott Costin Bromster, once again, uh, turned me on to, to these, and uh, I, I was able to get that. Um, And of course, many of the uh, comic book, actual comic book movies themselves are in here. It's a Toy Story down there. And over here, all my horror DVDs. Top original first prince of uh, from England, uh, the Beatles, uh, million sellers. It's original 45, uh, Strawberry Fields. These are all on uh, Polyphone 
well this that this is a polyphone record and then this one is the uh, Odeon strawberry fields Oops, sorry. Might in Great Britain. Sorry, I'm not a very good cameraman. I apologize for all that. This is Long Tall Sally. This is Polyphone again. And uh, coming right back down here where I showed you these. I had to figure out how I can store all my DVDs, so I built this. And it's on wheels, so it comes out. It's on hinges and wheels, and it comes out and reveals another area back here with more sci-fi and horror DVDs and... Uh, over there, I got one shelf with uh, beatnik uh, films from the 1950s and add ball films from the 1940s. When I say add ball, uh, just uh, sort of uh, B movies, some comedy down there, and some western. And then here is, here's some stuff I just got uh, today, I didn't even uh, put these away yet. City of the Dead, this was originally released in the United States under the title uh, The Horror Hotel. And this is actually the first time that they released it in the, in the United States under the original title, City of the Dead, starring Christopher Lee. The Arrival Part 1 and 2 and then this is the uh, Val Luton collection I've always wanted to get this he did some great films in the 19, late 40s and in the 50s this one I'll tell you I can tell you right now not the cat well we probably probably order the cat people if you like these kind of films but the leopard man holy crap man I was really surprised when I saw that how good it was for a B movie, that was absolutely terrific. I mean, it was, it scared me too. Gave me a little bit of a scare. More stuff there. Oh, there's a Twilight Zone I was telling you about. There's the box set now. Now they come out with the box, well, they came out with the box set a while ago, but just trying to build people. I, I'm unbelievable. I should have known better. But I'm a Twilight fanatic, you know, so I gotta have it all. More boxes I gotta go through. There's one on the floor. I don't know what the hell is in that long box. I, oh brother. But anyway, we'll get to all that at some point. And uh, now I'm back at the end. This is a Korsky helicopter. This is a Marx helicopter. Uh, Mark, they call a Marxicopter, and uh, I had this in 1961. My brother gave it to me for Christmas, and uh, I lost some parts to it. Some parts got broken, so uh, on eBay, I found like three or four over the course of about a year and a half, and I bought those two for the parts and stuff. Well, anyway, this has been a pretty long video. Can't help it. And uh, I'll have to do a part two because holy crap. Part two is going to go into the, the main room back there, the main section. All right, well, 35 freaking minutes. Unbelievable. All right, well, we'll uh, see you in the next uh, in part, <laughs> in part, part two.
Take care, folks.